Okay, this is where all the fun starts here. The real fun is um, I got my uh, Hakko 936 soldering station. And what I'm going to do is change the, the tip. I got a new tip for it. I'll show you. Here's the old tip. And uh, I use this for all the antique radio work. It has a broad flat tip on it. So I'm going to change that and you do that by just unscrewing it. Take the tip out. Ta -da. This is a ceramic uh, kind of heater in there. I've got the new tip here. 900M-T-B shape dash B it looks like or an 8 get it out of the package there you go it's like a it's like a conical kind of tip so we're gonna put our new tip on that and we're going to slide this uh, retainer back on it. And what we're going to do is right up in here I'm going to set this thing for a little lower than what I usually do it. Maybe like uh, I don't know, 650? I'm not sure turn on now what it says here in the instructions over yonder here is that um, if solder doesn't melt and flow within two or three seconds you probably need to re-clean and re-tin the tip never reheat a connection more than five seconds at a time or you could damage the component or the board so that's the criteria if I could uh Get it melt to flow within two or three seconds. I know I'm at the kind of like the right temperature, you know. It takes too long, then uh, you know I gotta turn it up a little bit. So that's it, and uh, I'll show the first couple, I guess. All right, might as well get started here. Gonna try this little guy here. I already held it longer than two seconds. May not be hot enough. Put it up on about 700. Clean the tip. Got to heat the the uh, circular pad and the lead at the same time and come on and flow baby all right it flowed took a little longer than I wanted to yeah I'm gonna put up a little higher 750 but I'm not gonna go any higher than that let's try another one by this guy here. Come on, flow. Yeah, okay, that did it. Okay, I'm gonna try keep trying it at 750. I think that seems like a good temp to do to use. So uh, just gotta keep working at it. Let's try another one. This one here. Huh. 
I'm using the glass. I'm looking through the glass. See, there it goes. Nice. Okay, this is like where the fun comes in. It's really not too bad. All right, just gonna do that like about 60 more times and I'll have all the resistors in. They're all soldered now and now I'm going to clip these extra leads here and inspect it using a uh, this thing here. This is a magnifying glass I got. And uh, I thought I got this at an antique shop. I thought it was an antique, but it was made in India. But I'll be honest with you, the um, the optics in this thing is really, really good. Much, much better than the optics in this uh, this Chinese uh, viewing lamp here. Uh, this is really good. There's no aberrations or anything in this. So I'm going to inspect all the all the joints with this here. Yeah, well here you just got to clip these little extra leads off here, like so, bang. This one over here, get this one here, bang, and just keep going. Alright, this, this one here looks a little grainy, so I'm going to hit that one again, and then, um, there was two I missed. Yeah, down. Move this here. Hear the sound effect? Just like Fox News. I hate those sound effects, don't you? But anyway, you got here your. Uh, I missed one right there. So we hit that one too. Now, this is where I'm going to deviate from the instructions. They say uh, do the chokes ne next. And here's a package of chokes. And it looks like a diode or something in there. Then it says uh, to go to the, uh, the SIP and then it goes to the IC sockets. Now, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to start with the sockets here. Because when I used to... Uh, build up uh, circuit boards that I used to design myself and build them up myself. Uh, this um, the socket is like thinner than, than the choke is, you know? So what you want to do is put the socket in next because I'll tell you why. When you put the board in, you put the socket in there and you flip it over, you want the the board to press down on the socket so you can solder the socket in underneath. But if you put the choke in first, then the choke is fatter. So when you try to put the when you try to put this in, it's going to kind of want to fall out, and then you're kind of pressing down on the chokes, which is kind of dumb. So I'm going to put the IC sockets in next, and the board itself here should be enough weight to hold the socket in place. So I got the sockets in place and what it says to do on the instructions which I just noticed was that you um, it says to tack solder like a couple pins in to hold it. Okay that's cool but I'm still gonna put the chokes in later because they're they're bigger and they're more delicate you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna tack solder and then Flip it over and then solder all these pins in. Alright, I got all the uh, ICs in now. The IC uh, sockets, that is. And uh, there really, really wasn't too bad soldering that. You just go like down the line and, and solder. And after I'm all done soldering everything, I'm going to clean the board off with, uh, I guess, some alcohol or... I'm going to pick up some board cleaner somewhere. Okay, I got the SIP soldered in. The SIP resistor network, that is. And um, 
that was a good idea about um, the uh, socket. Um, a YouTube friend of mine said about maybe I should put like a sip socket in there. But, uh, you know, I really don't want to order a, a socket. And, uh, you know, it'll, it'll take some time to get it in. And I figure if, if the sip ever goes bad, I could just use a, a dike just to, you know, just to cut the sections out and unsolder it and just put a new one in. So it shouldn't be that hard to to unsolder that and put a new one in really, to be honest with you. And I got all the sockets in. So I'm just keeping on keeping on. And I found out that humming the Mission Impossible tune, you know, really, really helps, you know, making this thing. A commercial break. Speaking of Mission Impossible, I picked this up. It's hard to pick up, literally. I picked it up on Amazon. The complete set, all seven seasons of the original Mission Impossible television show, which is my estimation real television, not like what they got on television nowadays. And this is nothing like the uh, crappy Tom Cruise movies where he's like the hero and Jim Phelps is the villain and Tom Cruise is the best thing ever since sliced bread. This is a real team effort that they have here on the Mission Impossible team. 160 bucks for that. That's not bad. And I got ABBA Super Troopers. It's a contemporary film from Waterloo to Mamma Mia. 50, 30 years of music. It's like a documentary and they have like videos in there. And I got this here, Wonder Woman. This is the first ever woman, woman, woman animated movie. It's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be good. Then I got the classic, Charge of the Light Brigade. So I got a lot of good entertainment here. I don't have to watch uh, American Idol on TV. No, I w that makes me want to blow the television up. You know, I made a slight boo-boo here. The, um, but not really a boo-boo. Just something I said here. The, uh, coils and chokes. These are the chokes, these little guys here. And these are the coils. I thought these were the chokes, too. But later on, I saw that these are the, um, RFI suppression coils. So, my mistake. See, these are fatter. I was going to put those in, in after the sockets. But you're supposed to anyway. And and these guys, I'm gonna put in next. These are the uh, these are actually the the chokes. Really small. They're they're the size of resistors. I didn't know that. So I learned something new today. I didn't know you could have chokes this small. They're real tiny. Wait, this is a choke. I'll show you. It's small. So I'm going to do those next. Like, I probably shouldn't, you know, it doesn't matter because they have like leads that you can flex and you can hold them in. So it, the instructions were right. You know, there's nothing wrong with the instructions. I thought there was, but they're saving these, uh, these RFI coils for, for later. And that's good. You know, even with visual, visual aids, it's, it's tough. Because this thing looks like it's, blue, brown, black, and silver. And they have a green, blue, black, and gold. So this is like, you put this aside and then try another one. We got this one here. It's really amazing. This one's a little easier. Yellow, blue, brown, and gold, I think. Yellow, violet, oh. They say it's yellow, violet, brown, and silver. Well, that looks like a gold to me. Very strange, folks, very strange. 
well, I gotta study this for a while and eliminate the ones that are not right, if you know what I'm saying? It's like process of elimination to filter it down. But that's a choke. Is that crazy or what? Okay, the only way for me to do this, I don't know, maybe Superman can do it a lot easier, but I'm using double magnifying glasses. Ooh, that one there, that one here. And I could look at it, and it looks like it's red brown and gold gray red brown and gold well, let's see if there's such an animal so we got to look on the sheet here yes yes gray red oops black and gold that must be it there's, there's no gray, red, brown, and gold. Okay. Making progress. Not falling behind. We're actually making progress. Okay, I, I'm going to do one more of these because um, I don't want my YouTube friends to go nuts or anything. But this one's the wrong part. They gave it the wrong part. Because this one's definitely green, blue, black and silver and they have a green blue black and gold and that's the only thing that's close with only when the green is the first one it's definitely green so because it's silver they have the wrong tolerance on this that's definitely silver and it's not gold so they put it a 10% tolerance instead of 5% tolerance in. So I just wanted to mention it to folks that really don't look like the right part. Not unless I'm crazy or something. But, well, let's not get into that. But it definitely is silver? I don't know. Man, these parts are small, man. All right, I got all the chokes in. L4, L5, L6, L7, and L8. And really wasn't bad soldering. I mean, the soldering's cake. I mean, it's really, really fun. It's so much easier soldering a circuit board than, I don't know, soldering uh, point to point. You know, I mean, once you get the... Um, the technique and with the proper tools like the like the lens here the lens really is good for the visual assistance and uh, you know when I was younger I could have done this without a glass but now I need a glass and sometimes two of them but I'm getting it done and uh, I wanted to mention something real quick then I'm gonna make a whole video consolidate because I'm, I'm doing editing now I'm starting to learn how to do that teaching myself how to do that but I used to build these boards up years ago I used to kind of help design them and stuff and then build them and uh, I had something called a pan of ice I think it was called I mean it has like um, it's a vice you could put to the to the desk you could screw it on or clamp it on and it had like these arms that came up in the middle of it. it had like these arms that came up two of them and they had like grooves cut in the side of the arm and you could clamp the board in the grooves and you can move that like anywhere you wanted to and I think it was called pan of ice pretty sure and that's a good thing to have to be honest with you Okay, so uh, that's it for now.